Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest 2K player in existence. And I've done it! I've created the ultimate LeBron James build, the ultimate 1v1 court build, the ultimate build that can do everything, bro. So you are going to want to watch this full video so you are not brain. It's supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Fuck, you not gonna understand how to even come close to really making a build, understanding the caps. I'm gonna really break down the ins and outs of this build. And um, there's other versions of it, but this is just the big bully. It's very different. There are already, um, damn, let me turn this shit down. There are already people out there isoing on next gen with um, builds that are slower and um, even bigger than this shit. Um, I don't know if they're bigger, but you know, pause. Well, they actually are, but you know, they, they have like a lower speed with ball and speed and they're still isoing. So look, <laughs> power forwards are back, man. You know, real, real. I, I'm, I'm going to just break it down to you while we end the vid, man. So look. And y'all let me know if uh, the error code stopped for y'all so I can stop spamming these damn devs. Let me know down below. Make sure y'all subscribe if you know, man. Help me hit 300K. Hit that damn like button. Helps my vids get pushed to the algorithm. And yeah, man, turn on post notice, man. A bunch of gameplay will be coming soon. So look, we're going to make him 6'7". I know LeBron 6'8". I could have went 6'8", but there's... But... I wanted that 99 driving dunk. Now I could have made this build even more all around if I didn't go for the 99 driving dunk, but I want that 99 driving dunk to really bully and really put niggas in a shame, you know? Just just really just fuck niggas minds up, bro. Contact dunking bigs, small guards, all the ones trying to cheese on the twos. Just really bully him. Like, you know, you could have went for the lowest contact dunk. That that's why the badges might not be as as much as other builds that you see that are similar. Because I went for the 99. But I think overall, the shit is super valid, bro. You y'all let me know, man. So we're gonna bring this close shot up to a 54, right? To unlock fast twitch. Um, gives you faster layups and dunk animations and um, yeah We're gonna bring this layup to a 79 Okay, we're gonna bring this driving dunk to a 99 now look when you do stuff like this you sacrifice You know, but this build still not even really gonna be a sacrifice. I ain't gonna hold you, bro There's a lot of shit. I want to show y'all so that, this is why you got to watch my full little build videos man and If you gonna make this oh, I'm telling you look so post control i brought this to i did want to upgrade the standing dunk you know but i i couldn't bro you know there's i got too much shit on this build but we get drop stepper on hall of fame to really baby niggas mate we'll probably even be able to baby centers especially because probably a lot of centers are going to do low strength this build's going to be max strength my nigga and we got you know we're going to have limitless okay we're going to be a post scoring god back down god drop step god and you got limitless takeoff on hall of fame and posterizer on hall of fame come on nigga this shit is unstoppable this, i might have brought back the <laughs> six sevens from uh last gen not last gen well 2k21 well we're gonna bring this three to 79 it's very easy to shoot bro it is very 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 easy to shoot Bring this free throw to a 28, man. It's very easy to shoot, man. We're still going to have gold um, sniper. I did want to get it on Hall of Fame, but again, this build has so much. We're going to have the hot zones on silver. You know, it, we, we, we still going to be fine. We're going to be able to shoot, bro. If you can't hit with a 79-3, you're down bad. Like, deadass. Like, you're down bad. Probably have your teammate run floor general, too. You have a 79.3, and you're going to have all these badges. You should be able to shoot consistently, bro. You know? And if anything, you can still post score and dunk on niggas' heads. But niggas is going to leave you open, especially since you're big as fuck and you're burly and shit. Niggas are going to leave you open. You got this big-ass wingspan. 
So you know, you gonna be valid, bro. You 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 gonna be cool. And if anything, you can pick the sharp takes, bro. Now look, I did want to go higher on the pass accuracy to be true to LeBron, but I couldn't do it. But at least we got silver bullet passer, bro. Okay, look. So we got silver quick first step. You know, playmaking, eh. But I mean, bro, niggas is out there still moving on these big ass demigods. Now look, this is the ultimate 1v1 build, bro. Like, bro, you got hella defense. You know, we got 70 interior, 85 perimeter defense, got gold clips, gold pick dodger. You know, we 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 cool, we cool. The steel, okay? The steel, very important. 86, okay. You might not see a lot of builds have this 86 pickpocket. As you can see, we're gonna have to pickpocket on 86, interceptor on gold, pickpocket gold, ball stripper gold. Not only will you have stats to defend the paint, but you also have badges to spam square on niggas. You're like, you're really a defender in this bitch. Like, <laughs> big body. We're gonna bring the block to an 81, okay? Now, 81, we get Gold Intimidator. We're going to have Silver Rim Protector. I did want to go for 88. Couldn't do it, my boy. You know, but at least we get Gold Intimidator and Silver Rim Protector. This is probably like the only lacking of this build. Uh, Right here, bro. You rebound a little low. But again, you're going to be running guard on this build. You know, you run guard or just you know you could spot up for somebody and um y'all could be duo isoing and whenever uh because y'all know how niggas run like a, a pg and then a center you are mismatch for the pg for sure and you're mismatch for the center so if if they try to put the center on the guard or whatever then you just bully the fucking PG and it's raps, nigga. You feel me? But um, this should be good enough. You're six seven, and you got a seven four wingspan. So you should be able to get boards. You 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 should be able to get boards at a pretty decent rate and be able to you know because if if you have a guard, imagine if you're a guard, you don't you don't you don't get a. Uh, silver rebound chaser you know that's why we got the uh rebound at 81 you don't get silver rebound chaser bro you know and you don't you don't get a, a wingspan this big so you're gonna be automatically always rebounding bigger than uh or better than a than a guard and if you run like two big type of players duo iso or um even if you set screens and pop and all types you can do all types of shit with this build man um i think it's pretty valid bro and um, you're gonna have max speed. What the fuck? You're gonna have max speed, max excel, max strength, okay? Niggas, you know, strength might not matter, might not be like, but but you know, ooh, it helps on contact dunks. Th 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 this is what they say for strength, bro. I know for sure it's gonna help with the post shit, all that shit, so you're gonna be able to stop all that inside shit. But they also say it helps fighting through screens, they say it helps with getting in position for post scoring. We got the post scoring shit, right? And they say it helps with contact dunks. We already got 99. We got the vert. And we got a high ass stamina. Like, so it's this is like the ultimate all around build, bro. I'm telling you, man, just just look around, bro. Like there, there's big ass builds like this out there, and strength's supposed to help with your blow buys. Niggas ain't going to be able to get past you. See, look, whoever wins contact, you know, the bumps, you know, back down in the post with and without the ball. Like, it's crazy, bro. Bro, this is like a real all. I know it might be a little slow, you know, but I mean, you can get by, bro. You're going to be able to speed boost. You're going to be OK. You might be looking slower than you actually are because you're bigger. So you take up more space. And yeah, bro. And um, I'm sure there'll be a way to green free throws and shit. But this is good for the tools, the ones, especially if you don't have um, people to play with. Y'all can adjust this, this blueprint. And um, yeah, like I'm most likely going to make this build myself. And um, 
bring y'all some gameplay on it. I, I think this is fire, bro. You know, I could have went with more badges if I didn't go with 99 driving dunk. But I want to. Because I want the Hall of Fame posterizer. And I really just want to have fun and really just fuck people up. But yeah, man. And here are... Wait, 2K resetting my fucking face scan? Why am I some big-ass, burly, white nigga, bro? What the fuck? Look at all these takeovers, bro. We get post-scoring takeovers. Now, I am not educated on this post-scoring shit, but we get all these hoes. So if you wanted to do something like this, my mentality is very easy to get. And um, we got the four uh, post-scoring takeovers, so you could do something like that. But me personally, man, I would pick Extreme Clamps first. Um, and then, like, since people probably going to be sagging off of me and shit like that, I would pick Spot Up Precision. Or maybe even I would pick Spot Up Precision first. And, um... Or maybe slasher. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like, there's so many options. Like, it really depends on your style, bro. Like, if you're trying to be like, oh, like, I have ball first. I'm trying to uh, just end the game. Then you could, like, double up on, you know, the slash and shit. Or you could try and scare them. Like, be like, oh, I can really shoot. And you could double up on the sharp shit. So like, and then they're gonna be playing inside, you know. Like it's it's a it's a you know like it's a you know what you know what, bro. You know what? Honestly, I would go for more trying to catfish them niggas, bro. You know, double up on the sharp, and you big as fuck. They don't know you have a ninety nine dunk, right? I would do this. I'm not gonna hold you. But, I mean, you might get your takeover slower. I don't know, but I, I would try this, bro, to, to be honest, man. Because it, it's going to trick a lot of niggas. They're going to be scared to leave you open. And, you know, they do that. Like, you dominating that fucking paint, boy. I, I, it, it's up to y'all, nigga. But, look, here goes the build name, man. Slashing for Chris Webber, Jason Tatum, LeBron James Bill, my nigga. But yeah, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Let me know what vid you want to see next. What other type of uh, build y'all want to see. Follow all my socials. Join my Discord. Everything is in the description. Join the Discord if you're looking for people to run with on both gens, both systems. Trying to get it more active. I'm going to keep promoting it. So y'all can have people to play with. You can run with me. I'm going to reply in there sometime. You got questions, ask me there or Twitter. Don't ask me on IG. But yeah, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.